As a safety speaker, you always want to involve your audience. Sometimes that means not leaving them out. I want to talk about, as a safety speaker, the audience involvement aspect of things. How do you involve an audience? We've talked about one aspect of it, about bouncing around the room and asking questions. Another way you can involve an audience is by not leaving them out when certain things occur. How many times will something happen in a room, and maybe it's an inside joke, maybe something happens like, well, Mike, you were laughing at the deal about, you know, the, uh, the, the, the Sacred Roy thing when I said Roy got eaten, and, and, and you cracked up about it. Well, maybe if you were sitting up front here, and you were laughing, and I'm responding, and what's that, and you told me back, you guys in the back wouldn't have heard it, right? So now it becomes like an old inside joke over here, and these people, instead of feeling involved, are starting to feel what? Excluded. So you think in terms of audience involvement, you can go the other way and actually exclude people. That's not good, right? So a couple of things I do. If during the course of the day, in fact, a couple of times, some of you mentioned something, I repeated it out loud. Why? So the people in the back could hear it. The times I didn't do that, I was writing it up here, or I wasn't making a teaching point. So if somebody said something in a comment that I'm going to teach about, I repeated the comment or the question because I know that you're more likely to get the answer if you know what the question is, right? How many times are you listening on the radio, right? You're in your car or whatever, and you're listening to the radio, and, and all of a sudden they're at the end of a story, and you hear something, and you go, oh, cool, what was that? But you don't know where it is. Where it is. If you would heard that up front, you would have what? You would have been listening and paying attention. So you always want to repeat when somebody asks a question in a meeting, repeat the question out loud. It does two things, uh, and I, by the way, I'm a certified hypnotherapist. I studied that to study communication. And uh, as a safety speaker, I wanted to know how to communicate more effectively. And so, when I repeat a question from Linda, or a comment, what it's doing is, unconsciously, it's telling you guys, this is important for everyone. This involves everybody, right? And so you're more likely to be taking that in. Likewise, it doesn't do that exclusion type of thing, all right? Don't miss out. Be sure to hit the red button on the lower right and subscribe. That way, every time we release a video, you'll be aware of it.